Hey, what's up traders? Today is Wednesday, October 26th, 8, 11 a.m. Pre-market outlook for the day. I'm gonna call it neutral bearish. And this is why, as you see here, futures are down, but I'm gonna show you the overnight and pre-market morning patterns. So let's get right on into it. On the left-hand side, you see here is the four hour chart of NASDAQ. Um, I choose NASDAQ because that is the highest risk, as you guys know, uh, over S&P 500 and Dow. So I prefer to look at the, the highest risk uh, index, right, for as far as risk on, risk off goes. But back to the four hour chart right here, look at the MACD. It has now crossed over into the negative below the signal line. However, Call your attention to the zero line it is still above the zero line okay so at this time we can say that i think that we are going to fall today it's going to be a dip but since it's still well above the zero line it's not going to be a crash okay i do think we are going to um <clears throat> we are going to dip today and specifically look here i'm going to draw look at this rsi that is clearly trending down, you know, along with obviously the MACD, right? The MACD line is trending down. Both are trending down on the four hour chart. Okay. So let's also correlate that on the right hand side. Oh, that's 30 minutes. Let me change that to the one hour. A little bit more details. Now, as far as the one hour goes, this one's. As you can see here, the RSI relative strength index clearly is trending down. And I want to call your attention to, let me let me maximize this a little bit, just so you can make it bigger. Here we go. The MACD. Look at that. It is hovering right, just above the zero line. In fact, it's at the number one right now. The red line right here, just above the zero line at one. So. I'll uh, put this into context more uh, in a minute, but I just wanted to show you the four hour and the one hour. And we are um, momentarily, let me go ahead and go to that. Okay, what you saw just now on the one hour being very close to the zero line is, let's, let's, let's look at the one hour right here on the, on the far hand or far right. Yesterday, um, or was it the day before, oh, on my video, I said it broke the resistance line and kept on going. It is now back. It's going to test the resistance line, guys. I, I, I It's going to do it. That's why it's uh, the one hour chart that you saw a momentarily ago. Um, it's near the zero line because it's going to test this support line right here, this black line that you see. And also, because this is the 65 minute chart, by the way. Also, notice that the uh, EMA 50 on the 65 minute time frame is coming up. It's, it's about to converge with the black support line as well. And so we are, we are basically going to be at a crossroads. So, um look at the macd right here that's not a good look that's clearly trending downwards right so but having said that look at the rsi down below on the 65 minute higher lows see so it's it, it has higher lows because it's about to defend this support line right here when when opening bell comes it's it's going to be at a crossroads. We're going to find out once and for all, are you going to hold support or are you going to lose support and keep on going? Okay. So um, let's jump over to the 30 minute time frame right here. So look at the MACD. It's already on the 30 minute. It is below zero. See that? So, you know, it's, it's flatlining below the zero line. Okay. Now, the fortunate thing um, is the RSI is having a higher, <coughs> excuse me, 
high or low as well. And that's because it's approaching that support zone, okay? So this is going to be at a critical juncture now. You know, I, I will say that looking at the 30 minute, here's the black support line, right? But then you on the 65 minute, you have the red EMA. But then on the 30 minute, you have the red EMA acting as resistance. See, it, it, it tried to get above it, but it fell below resistance right here on the on the red EMA 50 on the 30 minute time frame. So we have multiple time frames, multiple indicators converging all into one. The first one to two hours of trading today will be very telling what's going to happen. Right now, I'm going to say the odds favor bearish. I think that we're we're probably going to dip, but you know I'm going to let the five minute, the five minute time frame, right here, make the final call. If it's good, if it dips, the five minutes will start closing candles below this black support line or closing candles through the support line. As you guys remember, I talked about in my previous videos, the candle body must close completely above the line to remain bullish. It must, no exceptions. So that's what I'm gonna be looking for. Let's see what happens. Um, you know, VIX, uh, let's see. Yeah, VIX is also right now in the pre-markets trending Let's see if I can change that. Let me just let me just change this to, to UVXY. Proxy. Look at that. This is UVXY. That this is the five minute. That is firmly bullish because this is firm clearly and it's back tested already. See, it's over the five minute uh EMA fifty. The MACD is also above zero. So let's let's check this out on the 30 minute. Okay, so the good news is yeah, see it's 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 at a crossroads as well on the 30 minute. Here's the here's the 20 um the SMA 20 gray line. It's right at it. So opening bell here in about 10 minutes or so, we are going to find out who wins this one in the immediate short term. But I do think it's at a crossroads. Um, I guess we'll see. All right, guys. So that's my outlook. Neutral, bearish for today. Let's see what happens. All eyes on the five-minute uh, candles. Thanks. Talk to you later.